So I thought I'd film a running video because the story of me running is quite an interesting one. Just a week ago, I completed the Torpedo Cape, which is a swim run event held in Cape Town. It's along the coastline of the Atlantic Ocean. It's a swim run event, so there are six runs and six swims, a total of 12 kilometers running and four kilometers swimming. And I've been doing a bunch of ocean swimming for a while now, and I absolutely love that. And when I saw this event, I thought this is perfect. It's swimming and running together. You know, it's off-road trail running. You swim in the ocean, so it's through the kelp. You gotta run along the rocks, over sand, over trail sections. It's really, really awesome. So I signed up with a buddy of mine and we completed that event last week, Sunday. But I've had a long history with running. And even though I used to play a lot of football as a youngster, I really struggled to get into running a few years back and I filmed myself running just to document my story and it never really went anywhere. I always started running with the hope of building up a running habit and I could just never do it. So I thought it would be quite interesting to flash back to some of those videos and see where I've come from because recently I haven't only started running but I've actually managed to turn it into a habit. So I've managed to build up some running fitness, you know, do 3k runs, 5k runs, even 7 and 8k runs. Obviously for this event it was a 12k run with swims in between. But it feels really good having built up that habit and I actually enjoy running now. And I'm just heading out on a 5K run out here in Betty's Bay. And I thought it's such a great opportunity to create another video and update my story because it was actually one of the first videos I created for my channel was me running in Betty's Bay. I really do feel I've come a long way and I think it's a great time to do an update video. So I would not really call myself a frequent runner. Being out here in this rural setting in this awesome natural environment I decided to run a little bit more so I'm gonna take you along for the run today and see how it goes the running it's ever been my favorite sort of pastime exercise activity but I can see how one can get into it and this is such a beautiful place to run really so there we go that was a really fun video to film and also to publish but let's also jump back to some of the videos I created after that video I remember I was staying in an apartment in Cape Town and I just tried to get out to run and I really struggled. I mean, I got out, but I was running sort of five, 10 minutes, 50 minutes, and I could never really create that habit. So let's flash back to some of those videos. So it is day two, and I'll be honest, I do not feel like running, but a challenge is a challenge. For this week, I'm gonna keep it fairly gentle and easy on myself. I'm gonna keep the run to about 15 minutes and just get out the door and get running. So I'm heading out now to get that run. The other thing is I started a running challenge recently, but I only did two runs and then my back started hurting again. So uh, that running challenge didn't go as planned, but moving forward, I definitely need to get back into regular daily exercise. That is so crazy where I've come from. And I must say the one thing that really helped me was finding a exercise buddy and also being part of an exercise group that really helped me with swimming. And with running, I just became more motivated with the swimming that I managed to do. I decided, hey, I want to do more running. I want to do this event. So what's really cool is I'm super excited about the progress that I've made because earlier this year in March, I had a spinal surgery. I had a cervical disc replacement operation. And after that, I made a recovery, got back into swimming, and then eventually I got into running. But I managed to maintain my swimming fitness and then also add running to the mix and build up some running fitness. And it's been so awesome to reach the milestone of having completed the Torpedo Cape as sort of a challenge for myself to see if I can do that. And it was such an amazing experience. And the other cool thing is with running is it's really tough. It's, it's a lot, I find it a lot tougher than swimming. 
I mean, swimming is a lot easier on the body, but running is a lot tougher. But once you get into it, once you run that one kilometer, two kilometers, three kilometers, you do that a few times, it becomes easier. And then when you run five kilometers, a few times, it becomes easier. And before you know it, you're sort of running two, three, four, five kilometers fairly easily. And then you can obviously, you know, increase that amount to seven, eight kilometers. And recently having done this event where we ran 12 kilometers in total, I mean, it was a long event, but now when I run shorter runs, it actually feels a lot easier. And obviously there's a certain fitness that I've built up from just running regularly that has really helped. I've been really enjoying the combination of doing the runs and the swims. You know, you kind of do a run and then afterwards you cool off by doing a swim either in the ocean or in a tidal pool or even in a, in a pool. But it's been such a great experience and I'm so excited about the progress that I've been making. Now I want to keep up that progress by running regularly as well as swimming regularly and keeping up my baseline fitness for both swimming and running. And the other thing I've realized that I really need to work on is core strength. And I've built up my swimming and running fitness on top of the sort of basic strength I have, but I really need to work on my core strength because building up and developing your core strength just makes everything so much easier. So that's definitely something I need to add into the mix. My plan is to definitely keep swimming regularly and keep running regularly. I'm not sure how far I'm going to push myself with distances, but I want to build up my core strength and just keep my baseline fitness for both swimming and running. And let's see, maybe I'll add something else to the mix, but I've really been enjoying it. And um, yeah, on that note, let me keep running. <laughs> I remember this exact spot. This is where I stopped when I filmed that running vlog. The quiet long roads here with beautiful mountain views and sunsets. And I plan to do this more frequently going forward. And I stood here and I was talking to the camera and I think I put the camera down here to record myself running past, which I'll probably do again just now, but it's, it's so cool like retracing your steps and thinking back like where we've come from, especially when it's something you're actively working on. And I know after my surgery, I, I, I made a commitment, even before my surgery, I made a commitment to work on my health and my fitness and just the whole thing around exercise and, and just getting more active. And I'm really pleased with the results and it really hasn't been easy because probably like many other people, I, I struggled with doing regular exercise and living a more active lifestyle when it's so easy to be at home, working on the laptop, be on the couch, you know, just living fairly inactively. And I absolutely love running out here in Betty's Bay in all the nature and the greenery and looking at the mountains. This is a really cool road to run along because it's a lot more quiet and it's fairly sort of straight with a couple of light ups and downs. But it's just so beautiful running out here. It's so inspiring. And whenever the going gets tough, both with swimming and running, I always just remind myself to be grateful. Be grateful that you're not in pain. Be grateful that you can run. Be grateful that you can swim. I like, guess it's tough right now, it's hurting, whatever, it's, you know, you're sweating, it's hot, it's a bit uncomfortable, but oh my gosh, you're so blessed to be able to do this. So I keep reminding myself of that every time it gets a little bit tough and I really, really enjoy it. The other thing I did that was a great recommendation from my running buddy and my swimming buddy was to get some proper running shoes. When I started running, I was running in my sneakers and they were more like fashion sneakers. They weren't proper running shoes. Uh, so I got myself some nice trail running shoes. They're really cool and they've made a huge difference. They are so comfortable. They give me great ankle support and they are, as I said, trail running shoes. So specifically for the Torpedo Cape, they were amazing for running on the rocks and being in the water and they drain quickly. So it's definitely something to check out. I'll leave a link in the description below. These are the Sorconi Peregrine, I think is what they're called. Awesome shoe. Other thing I did was I got myself these Solomon quick lace ups, which are very cool. You just can replace the other laces with this. And it's a lot quicker to get in and out of your shoes if you need to. And also with going into the water, it absorbs less water if you're in the ocean or in a river or whatever. So that was a really cool little upgrade that I did to these shoes. Just getting yourself some dedicated running shoes that support your feet and are comfortable makes a huge difference. So if you are getting into running, that's what I'd say, get yourself some good shoes. So there we go, I'm on 2.6 now, so if I just run back, I'll have my 5Ks. Let me keep going, keep my pace up.
I always thought runners that run along this road are like crazy, but here I am, now I'm one of them. It's actually not crazy, it's really awesome. It's really fun. It's just sometimes a bit uncomfortable. And if you're too far in your comfort zone, then you will probably not try something that is uncomfortable. And that's where the growth happens. So you gotta focus on getting uncomfortable, trying something new, challenging yourself and growing. There we go, that's the end of my run. I did just over five kilometers as planned. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or feedback, leave those in the comments below. As always, I'll leave relevant links in the description below. And if you have a goal of getting into running or any type of exercise routine or fitness, leave a comment below and let me know what it is that you're getting into and what your goals are, what are your milestones to get there. And then I can support you in the comments. Awesome. Wishing you an awesome day. I'm Sean Toomey and I'll chat to you soon. Cheers.